Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Windows update error that is 0x800F0831. So if you are receiving this error code while updating your Windows 10 or 11, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run update troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now, if you have Windows 11, click on system and then you will find troubleshoot option. But if you have Windows 10, then you have to click on update and security then you will find troubleshoot so click on troubleshoot then click on other troubleshooter or additional troubleshooters now over here in windows 10 just click on windows update and then you will see the option which says run the troubleshooter in windows 11 click on run and once the troubleshoot is complete restart your computer and after the system restart try to update your windows 10 or 11. now the next step is to use windows 10 update assistant and if you have Windows 11, then use Windows 11 Installation Assistant. So for Windows 10, copy this link. For, for Windows 11, copy this link. All the links are provided in the video description. Now for Windows 10, here you can see Windows 10 Update Assistant. So click on Update now. And once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now this will load Windows 10 Update Assistant. It will check for update. Now, if there is any pending update, it will let you know and then you will see the op option to install it. In my case, it's already installed. Exit. So, that will go ahead and help you to update your Windows 10. Now, if you have Windows 11, then go to this link and then download Windows 11 Installation Assistant. Then run this exe file. Click on Yes to Allow. Now, here you can see Install Windows 11. Click on Accept and Install and it will go ahead and fix the error message. But in case, windows 11 installation assistant is not loading it's not opening in that case go to the download location so now once you go to the download location make a right click then select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program in compatibility mode for put a check over here then select windows 7 and then click on apply okay now make a double click and then launch the assistant and then click on accept and install and that should go ahead and fix the error message now, the next step is to reset Windows Update Components. For this, copy all these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So, copy the command till here. And then, open Notepad on your computer. Paste all the command over here. And then, go to File. Then, click on Save As. You can set save it to Desktop. Name this file as wufix.bat. And for save as type, select all files. Now click on save. Once done, go to desktop. Run this file as an administrator. So make a right click on wufix file. And then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now this will first of all stop all the Windows update services. And then it will run some scans. Now the scan will take some time. Now, once the scan is complete, it will restart all the Windows update services. And once the process is complete, restart your computer and then try to update your Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now, in case if nothing is working, the last step is to use Media Creation Tool. So, if you have Windows 10, copy this link. If you have Windows 11, copy this link. Open this link in a browser. Now, over here, you can see Media Creation Tool. Click on Download Now and then run the .exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see the screen. Click on accept and by default, upgrade this PC now would be selected. So, click on next. Now, this will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now, this process will take some time. So, let the download complete. Once the download is complete, click on finish. And then, before the installation, you will see the option which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. Now, when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer and your Windows 10 should be up to date. If you have Windows 11, go to this link and then here you can see Media Creation Tool. Click on Download Now and then run the exe file. Now click on Accept. Now by default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on Next. Now select ISO file, then click on Next. Now you can save it to Desktop, select Desktop and then click on Save over here. Now once done, click on finish and then go to the desktop. Now here you can see Windows ISO file, make a double click on Windows ISO file. Now here you can see setup file, make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. 
Now this will load Windows 11 and here you can see install Windows 11, click on next and this will go ahead and check for update, then click on accept, then again it will check for update. Now this process will take time. Now again before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer and your Windows should be up to date and you should not receive this error code anymore. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.